Hello everyone, this is Suribi Agrawal with yet another video on our tutorial. Today we are going to speak about one of the few very interesting features in R that is three different methods called type of class mode. This is one of the rarest class that you would find online and it will be very helpful for you if you understand the difference between these three uh, functions and uh, use it accordingly. To start with, class gives us the kind of object it is. It is the high level definition of the object. Whereas type of gives the low level data type of the object. Mode is a function that gives us a mutually exclusive classification of the object. That is, it gives us the basic structure of the object. So, whenever we give an object, the mode of the object is the basic structure. The class will give you the kind of the object, whereas the type of would give you the low level data type of the object. We will go through many different examples in the course of this session. First, let us understand what will be the different return types of each of them. Class. Class gives us a high level type of our object and the data type that can be returned using a class function can be character, numeric, integer, logical, date and for the complex objects like list, matrix, data frame and array, the return type would directly be that object. Type of return type since it is a low level data type of an object it gives us whether it's a symbol it's a environment it's a language it's logical integer double complex character and so on we would see some of them in the examples the mode gives us what is the basic structure so the type integer and double would, would both be in mode numeric Special and built-in would both go into function. Symbols will be named and under the type language it returned as either an open bracket or call. These are some special functions which can be used to understand the structure of your data type when you are working with very high level projects. Let us move through some of the examples. Let us start with few examples. If you remember from the last sessions, 1L gives us integer values. Thus, if I assign X as 1L and try to print the value of these three functions, then class should give me integer, mode should give me numeric and type of should also give me integer. If you remember, class is high level, mode is structure and type of is low level data type of the system. 1L gives us integer. What will 1 give? Let us check. Class and mode would be numeric and type of will give double. If you remember properly, integer, double, numeric both comes under mode numeric. Thus, all these things will have the mode numeric. Why we are getting type of as double? Because in R, if even if you do not have any decimal values, if it is not specified implicitly, it would input all the numeric values as double. That's why class would come as numeric but type of would come as double. Let us check what the letters variable gives us. The variable letters are is a predefined vector of all the alphabets as you can see over here. Let us check what the class mode and type of, of the variable letters are character, character and character. The class also gives us character, mode also gives us character and type of also gives us character. Let us check what happens to the logical variable true. All three of them are logical and for date, class would be date, mode will be numeric and type of will be double. To explain this example, I would like to specify that all the dates inside our compiler is saved as a numeric value. Therefore, we get mode as numeric and since it has got decimal values too for time section, 
so we have double value but the class will still be date because the high level the data structure is date let us see what happens to a data frame cars for many of the people who do not know what cars is cars is a predefined data frame in r that is there in r by default and let us check what will be the class mode and type of the data frame well it class would give me data dot frame mode since all the data frame are a special form of list that's why mode the basic structure would be list and we would get list and type of would be list let us clear the screen now if we check a particular column of our data frame then what will happen uh, if you remember properly then if we give cars one then that particular column will come in the format of a data frame itself so the class would again be data frame mode will be list and type of would be list to access a particular element of the list we give double brackets so if you just try to fetch the value of car one then you would get a vector instead of a complete data frame of one column thus if we assign this to x and try to understand what the class mode and type of would be then it will be equals to a vector of type numeric so class would be numeric mode will be numeric and type of would be double what would happen if we convert a data frame into matrix so of course it would create a matrix but what will be the value of class mode and type of class would be matrix mode and type of will again be list and list for a new environment all the three values would be environment for an expression all the three values would be expression for a function if you do not know ls is a function and a class would give me function mode would give me function and type of would give me closure uh, i'll tell you about closure a little later let us first understand what sum would give me for the information of everyone sum is also a function in r and the return type would give me function function and built in so what's the difference between closure and built in built in functions are those which are there in r compiler itself whereas closure function are those which we have created in the library thus some do not require any library but ls would require the base library to come into the picture these were few examples that i wanted to show you with uh, the functions type of class and mode and uh, i would like to thank all of you to attend this video please do like share and subscribe and drop us an email at techogenius7519 at gmail.com with any of your queries or your requests. We would be happy to address each of them. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Thank you so much.